Quelles sont les pistes de recherche que vous avez aujourd'hui qui peuvent donner de l'espoir à tous nos patients so, future research is working very hard to improve our treatment of AMD because it's such a common disease. One area is to improve the problem of um, repeat injections. If we had something that would stay in the eye for longer, then patients could have less frequent injections and the drug would work for longer. So that's one important area of research. And also people are always looking for new, even though we have three good drugs, People are always looking for new drugs and new treatments. Um, there's another area of, of, of genetic, how genetic, genetic affects AMD, but that is, uh, that is an important area. It's not a critical area because AMD is a disease of older people. Uh, so at that point, there's not really much you can really do about genetics. It's sort of just for the knowledge and understanding, although, There, was, there is a link between the vitamins and genetics, it seems. Surgical treatments are also being looked at. And the two main surgical treatments are, one is to transplant stem cell transplantation. So to take stem, because as I said, the problem is the RPE, the cells that support the retina underneath those sort of cells. So to take those stem cells, which are good, healthy, young cells, and to transplant those cells underneath the retina and that would hopefully rejuvenate the retina. So there has been some research and even some public studies on this um, but it's still very very early stages and at this point I wouldn't recommend anyone uh, having that, pinning too much hope on that right now. The mainstay of treatment today is in injections. The other, uh, the other research is, uh, the other surgical option would be only applicable to people who've got very, very advanced AMD. And basically the macula is scarred and nothing can be done for the macula. Instead of having retina, healthy retina in the macula, they've now got a scar there and that scar gives no vision. So uh, this is more commonly done in Europe, but theoretically that a piece of healthy retina can be taken from the peripheral part of the retina and in the same eye, a little square of retina can be cut out and moved to the center, to the macula, and placed over the macula. That, is, that has shown some usefulness, but only in people who've got very, very low vision, people who are really looking just to have enough vision to navigate themselves around the house. Uh, so to get from having no vision at all to navigational vision, that surgical option may be an option. Well, that said, in the United States, it's, done, it's not done that often. In Europe, there has been more advances in that surgical option. En tout cas, je note avec plaisir que il y a des voies de recherche importantes et que cela donne de l'espoir à tous les patients et à tous ceux qui euh, seront atteints un jour de DMLA. Euh, merci, merci à vous. Pleasure.